Okay, we are back. You're listening to National Real Estate Auction Radio. And I'm your guest, Doug Dennison. The mission statement for this program is to provide an educational experience for listeners in a promotional format for auctions across the country. And we've got uh, John Lewinger on the on the phone on the line, and uh, he is with Grub and Ellis, actually the founder of uh, Grub and Ellis New Mexico. And and earlier before we uh, uh, we get on the line, he was uh, with the radio show for 18 years. So he's gonna he's gonna tell me how I'm doing. Yeah, and, and it took me about 16. I'm finally over the stuttering, so I'm in good shape. <laughs> Doug, how are, you, how are you doing? Is Fisher there with you also? Yes, Lewis Fisher. Hi, Lewis. Hey, John. How you doing? I'm doing very well. Well, it's uh, great to hear from you, and, and we uh, – it's been a long time from that first auction uh, together, and we'll we'll go into that. But we did see each other what six months, a year ago in Dallas, and yes, sir. You were a speaker, a commercial real estate uh, speaker at DS News. Um, while I'm on DS News, uh, I want to thank them. They promoted and and uh, uh, put on their website about this radio show, and they are basically the happening place to be on dsnews.com, where if you're a real estate broker or looking to be in the REO business, you need to go to their conferences. You need to get on their email list. They know everything about REOs and, and sales and all that kind of good stuff. Well, you were a speaker in Dallas also, weren't you, Doug? Yes, I was, John. Thank you. I, I thought they paid me $20,000. I thought that was a, just a great event. <laughs> I, I, I got a little bit less than that, but uh, yeah. you know, when, 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 when you're when you're a big timer like you, uh, oh yeah. Tell us about the New Mexico market, John. Well, New Mexico is an interesting place. It's a very very large state physically. It has a size of less than two million people. Um, the, the biggest city is Albuquerque, and its metropolitan area is about eight hundred thousand people. Um, I gather there are a lot of real estate people that listen to this show. Our office market's about 14 million square feet. Our retail market's about 25 million square feet. And our industrial market's about 35 million square feet. So it's a, it's a rather small community. I came here uh, really 40 years ago, and uh, the, uh, there were no franchises here. And so it's uh, it's really grown. It's uh, I think it's uh, about to grow more as it gets over a million people in the next next ten years or so. And, um, and I was trying to think this morning what some of the things I would say to you. We've got <laughs> no earthquakes. We got no floods. We got no hurricanes. We've got no tornadoes. Uh, today it's going to be 68 degrees, and the humidity was about 25 percent. Wow! And it's just, uh, and I live at 7,000 feet. It's just a, a fabulous place to live and work. Well, we've been to your house, Lewis and I, and uh, you were very gracious when we worked together. That, that was, was right before the foreclosure. Uh, that, that, <laughs> <laughs> that was <laughs> that was many years ago. And uh, tell us about how we got together for our first auction and what kind of success well, did we have. I, actually, it was in. I I have a little picture of a billboard we put up. It was in 1992. And it was right at the, as or maybe it was 90, 92, as, uh, as the Resolution Trust Corporation, RTC, was was really in full operations. Mm-hmm. And I think, uh, Lewis, it was, it was uh, when, when your dad was running a company called Fisher Auction, and we had, or maybe you were running it, and he was having a good time. <laughs> um, we, we auctioned off 702 properties. And we started at 6.30 in the afternoon or in the evening, and we ended up at about 1.45 in the morning. There was a dance band in between. The average auction time was about 45 seconds, and there was a 30-second dance band um, you know, break between each auction. And it was all no reserve. And it was just unbelievable. All absolute. It was It was great. I, I want to say that we had... Uh, Three thousand people in in the oh, probably in the, in the Marriott. I think it was. Uh, yeah, it's the, big, it's the biggest thing we've seen here since the rodeo, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, we're talking about real estate brokers and how they work with auction firms, and and let me tell uh, our listeners how you worked with us. You became our local auction headquarters. You received many of the calls. Many of the people would come to your offices 
to find more information about the uh, uh, about the properties. And again, this was before the internet and emails and and all that kind of stuff. So it was it was much harder. Um, but you had uh, you know thousands of people come into your office, which is a good no. thing for a broker. No, it was an absolutely win-win situation. Um, we made more than enough money to be you know fairly compensated. Not as much as I wanted, but of course. fairly compensated. Of course. But the notoriety that my company got, the, um, there were four thousands of people there, and it's, it was a relatively small community. You could tell by the bidding who had money. I mean, it was a, it was just a. Uh, it sort of got my company on the map. It gave us some needed cash flow um, that was very, very, not from a cash flow standpoint, not too much uh, different than these times. And um, it was just a great event. And then we got to know you guys, too. Well, it was wonderful. What are you doing now, John? Um, I'm, I've uh, decided that I'm going to tell people I'm semi-retired. Mm -hmm. I work about five or six hours a day. Um, because of all the very things I've done over my life, I have a small job with a bank, a title company, a real estate development company, and uh, I'm a qualifying broker for Grubb & Ellis. Well, I just got to get about two more jobs and I'll be able to work my life. <laughs> well, my friend, thank you for calling in. How do people get in touch with you because you know the New Mexico market, especially Albuquerque, uh, better than anyone? Well, I think through, actually throughout we have offices in Santa Fe and Las Cruces, mm -hmm. which is uh, you know the two ends of the state. And assist anybody in that neighboring area. Um, my direct line is 505-880-7000, uh, and my email address is the letter J, last name Lewinger, L-E-W-I-N-G-E-R, at N-M-R-E-A, which is New Mexico Real Estate Associates, but just the initials, N-M-R-E-A.com. Well, I thank you again, sir, and uh, appreciate our friendship for these many years, and hopefully Lewis and I will get out and, and, and see you guys again. Okay, man. All right. Great talking to you guys. You take care. Take care, bye -bye. John. Bye-bye.